right? It, this is uh, the types of, it's a conceptual question masquerading as, <laughs> a, a masquerading as a quantitative question because once you understand the concept around Gauss's law application and conductor property well, then you can quickly answer this. So let me quickly answer this with a quick explanations. Uh, it says on uncharged spherical conductor, and that's important to hear because what it's telling me is that the charge that's on the sphere itself is zero. So charge that's on the sphere itself, the net charge is zero. Uh, uncharged spherical conductor, uh, internal cavity, a positive charge of magnetic Q is placed inside the cavity, use the closed surface of oh, telling me everything. <laughs> Give your answer in terms of Q, the physical constants. Okay, how much charge is induced on the inner surface of the conductor? So what you are doing with the discussion surface is you go through this, uh, uh, this expression that the net electric flux through the Gaussian surface is equal to the four pi times Coulomb constant times the charge enclosed. And this is the rare circumstance where you actually know the flux first, because you know that the electric field is zero inside the conductor. You know that flux has to be zero. Yeah, that just, you, you, so it is kind of opposite of usual situation where you actually start out knowing the electric field. So because you know the flux through the surface is zero, you know that charge enclosed must be zero. You know that you enclose charge of plus Q within the cavity. So there must be enough negative charge in the, on the inner surface so that the net charge is zero. So charge induced on the inner surface is minus Q. Yeah, um, that, that's kind of the only way it can work. And the charge induced on the outer surface of the conductor because you know that it's an uncharged conductor, so it has net zero charge. If there's a minus Q on the inner surface, there must be plus Q on the outer surface. So it's plus Q. And finally, what is the magnitude of the electric field at a distance R from the center of the spherical conductor? R is greater than the radius of the conductor. So I think in the hint, I give you some hint and you know, read it through that. And um, what you have to have enough intuition to understand is that, so with this pair, it, they kind of just cancel each other out. So outside of this cavity, um, you basically see zero electric field due to this combination of charges. So it's as if they are not there. So if you, you are considering some point out here, really all you are seeing is this spherical shell of charges. And I hope you see that even though this doesn't look completely spherically symmetric, I hope you see that once you are out here, outside the cavity, inside the conductor, and then out here, then it does start to look spherically symmetric. So when you are out here at distance R, it, the, the, this spherical shell of positive charge will look like a point charge at the center of the sphere, um, ignoring the cavity. So that's what the expression is going to be. Magnitude of electric field is the Coulomb constant times uh, the charge divided by the distance squared. So it, it's, uh, as I was saying, it's a conceptual question that's masquerading as a quantitative question. Once you under the, understand the concept, then it's uh, uh, pretty easy.